fact that there's suddenly a lot of lens manufacturers in the last five years. Where do they come from? I want to hear your opinion on that. Well, there's, a, there's an unfortunate trend of some new companies that are purchasing existing lenses and rebranding them or reselling them or modifying them and reselling them, which is not a bad thing. It's always happened. It's, yeah, it's always happened. It, it's the subterfuge and the, the dishonesty of that presentation um, that I have an issue with. I, I think I don't want to speak for you, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I, obviously there's guarding sort of your IP of it, but at the same time, not taking credit from what the source is. Like, if you're saying, like, look, I'm going to take... Uh, you know, Tokina still lenses, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do my own special recipe on them. I'm gonna rehouse them. I'm gonna I'm gonna detune them. I'm gonna recoat them, and I'm gonna create a product. Where's the shame in saying that the source was from Tokina? The value is 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 in the the effort that you've gone in, the sweat equity you put into those lenses, the 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 customization of the detuning, the the, the coatings, the the rehousing of it. That's the value. That's the upcharge, not the fact that I designed this lens myself and this is the amaz most amazing thing. So that. That I think is disingenuous. One of the, from page one, we, we kind of hammer in this point that lens design has always been and always will be a trade off of, of, of these different um, tipping scales of what you're dealing with versus uh, no lens is going to be perfect. So then how perfect do you want to make it? Well, that's cost and manufacturing and material, exotic materials. And so you're trying to balance and democratize all these, these weights as like, you could make a lens as near perfect, but it would be massive and unaffordable, and you you couldn't put it on a camera. But it could be almost perfect. Near, it, it, it's, so then you're like, okay, well, how imperfect can I make it, or can I change a material type that's less expensive? It becomes less perfect, but it can become as manufacturable, and it becomes repeatable, and it becomes affordable for the customer. So you're trying to balance all these sort of things out, and that's a a big part of what all this book is representing is like understanding those factors, and then saying, okay. With that in mind, this lens has come with this equation of that balancing of those factors and trying to make it uh, manufacturing on a price point. The big sort of line of demarcation on all of these different companies usually is not on the optical side, it's on the mechanical side. Yeah. Is the compromises you're making on materials and the tolerances of the optical mechanical construction. So that's what you're really paying for because you could take a $100 still lens and create a beautiful image out of it that if you put it against a a Sumalux or a Master Prime or a Cook S4, you'd be hard pressed to tell which was which. And then there's quite a few companies that do something like you just referred to, they take an existing thing and they modify it, which is fine, but it's not really, I think, what makes the hard tick of a lens design. Well, it's that sort of that, that, that touchstone I'm talking about, that organicness of like, if it's actually part of the optical design and built into the actual um, impetus of the lens design and not just like a, a, a sort of a, a, an afterthought sort of uh, monkeying with something that I think it's it, it it's more true to what the intent is you're building it into the actual image formation from the get-go and that I think um, will, will become evident you know you'll see it what you were talking about also uh, is the difference between a manufacturer quickly jumping on a trend and taking existing glass and, and modifying it to capitalize on that and a manufacturer that creates a legacy product that's going to last for decades and decades and decades. Mm -hmm.